all right <laughs> well man honestly i've been up for quite some time and i think it was worth it honestly um i think we should jump jump right into it because there's so much to talk about uh br wise in save the world rise if you guys looked at the thumbnail you guys are probably excited if you're here for br content we'll start off that right away but if you're only here for save the world content i'll put a timestamp so you guys can jump there and i'll just timestamp the video for all those save the world people um but let's get into br start off the bat right away so br uh decently good update so we have the uh jujitsu kaizen skins in collaboration that's coming out and it's already out um so by the time you see this video you can go in br and do all the challenges but the way this is going to work is basically how star wars the last collaboration of star wars that we had that's basically how it's going to work there's a bunch of rewards that you can get for free and then you can upgrade using v bucks which is only a thousand v bucks about eight bucks uh, yeah just about um and you can upgrade and get a lot of more a lot of more stuff so there's a lot of skins a lot of battle pass upgrades uh, level upgrades and back blings emotes stuff like that um, the skin that you can get, I believe, it, I don't know the exact name, so, you know, don't yell at me, but you got Yu, Yuji Itadori? I, I, I'm gonna butcher these names. I don't watch Jujutsu Kaisen, but I've heard it's good. I've actually, I've been starting anime, I've started with Black Clover, so, um, which I've actually enjoyed so far. I might have to start with, uh, or start, uh, start Jujutsu Kaisen next, but, uh, yeah, you got these skins right here. If you guys want to go through them, you can um or just look at them real quick pause the video but yeah this is all the stuff that you guys uh, can get for free on the top and then the bottom is the stuff that you would have to upgrade to get the stuff uh and then the item shop of course we actually have uh just the skins itself we have satatory gojo uh majumi <laughs> i'm gonna butcher these i'm sorry but we got these three skins right here and then also the ones down here so yeah i think the free ones are just different styles maybe or just different ones but i don't know the new glider definitely looks super cool I think it's like some type of like bird. I don't know. I don't know. I don't watch. I don't watch it. But um, no, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. If you guys are fans of BR, let me know what you think of the collaboration. Because I personally like even if I don't watch a show or anything like that, I still love the fact that um, they have these collaborations. And, you know, I, I get to learn more about like the show and just like in general, the skins and whatnot. So, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, otherwise, that's everything uh, skin wise and stuff for BR. However, let's get into the actual uh news tab and just go through it so yeah like i said we got the uh, uh jujitsu kaizen skins and whatnot out and then we have a uh cup actually coming up um so you can get a free um i think it's a spray and an emoticon yeah i think it's a spray and emoticon um which is all the way down here so all you have to do is play the cup which is the on the 11th so in three days um and you have to at least get three kills and then i think um a minimum amount of points uh where's it at so yeah if your duo gets three eliminations in the tournament your jujitsu sorcery skills will be rewarded with the gojo's eye emoticon and then all the players who earn at least eight points will earn the ug training spray so pretty cool uh and then the top earning players get a uh, uh emoticon so yeah i think i think for each region it's different but for us uh, i believe it's like top 1500 and then everything else is usually your 2000 because you know there's more people uh, elsewhere but uh yeah i think it's pretty cool little uh little thing i'll probably be playing that so if you guys are a fan of br and you you know want to see me uh throw some games i'll have to find a duo but i don't know if, you, if you're good and you you know you want to play um i mean we'll, we'll have to play which uh actually ironically enough i think uh, this is on the day that i'm going to be doing a 24-hour stream so come stop by switch the link down below otherwise yeah that's pretty much it all the skins are out if you guys you know there, there's a bunch of different things and whatnot so but I'm not going to get into it too crazy because, you know, it's not like crazy, crazy. But uh, yeah, uh, you get actually a decent amount of points. So 25th the place is like two points. And, you know, even if you lose, you get two points. So and you get 10 games. So if you lose 10 games in a row, you still get, you know, 20 points. So it uh, should be easy. As long as you play, you get those. But if you place like top 1500, then you'll get that emoticon, which is pretty cool. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you got all these skins and different ones. Pretty cool uh and then there's a new llama actually out i don't know exactly what it does but i think it drops like abilities or something like that um i don't know if they actually explain it let me scroll up here uh yeah so it's right here it's the cursed llamas of romania island break one in it will drop two curse techniques straw doll technique and ho hollow technique purple so i believe these are just like abilities from the show so um don't quote me on that but i assume that's what they are uh and then let's move on and then the final thing is actually just the competitive notes and major bug fixes so curse llama straw and then all the basically the mythic stuff are not in the tournaments and then uh except the jujitsu kaizen cup they'll be in that because it's the cup uh and then the bug fixes for anyone that's curious fix an issue where players may have experienced reduced render distance since version 24.20 i actually noticed this while playing br in the last few days 
I was like, why can't I see anything? It's like the distance was like very messed up. I usually play on Epic because I like seeing as far as possible. Um, and it was just, I felt like I was playing on like normal or like the lowest distance, which is really weird. And then the final one is just the visual glitch that they fixed with rank. However, I went into rank where I just loaded in and it showed that my rank was like, it, it wasn't working. So I don't know if they fixed it or not, but they did say they fixed it. Maybe it was just a glitch and it's a visual glitch now, but, uh, they said that they fixed that, which, uh, I've been playing rank too. So yeah, otherwise that is everything for BR. If you have any questions, comments or anything like that, uh, let me know down in the comment section. Uh, otherwise, let's head to Save the World. Save the World actually has a massive update for anyone that actually plays Save the World and still plays it. Uh, I consider this a massive W uh, update. We rarely get something like this. And the fact that we've been getting a little bit more consistent updates and a little bit more consistent just content wise, it, it's been real nice. And I mean, if you guys have watched any of my YouTube videos, I've been really hyped up doing different videos and just having different weapons and different stuff like that to go through and having new stuff come out is even better because it just motivates me even more to continue the series that I do and, you know, create content uh, even more. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Fortnite Save the World version 25.30 home base status report. Commanders, the version 25.30 update brings the Raptor Wrangler quest line, a new quest line. Woo. Does this mean what you think it means? Yes. Raptor riding is now in Save the World. So this has been something that we've wanted. Uh, a lot of people hate the animals, but I think, you know, besides the fact that we only could ride boars um, and um, uh, wolves, I feel like raptors would be something that we should be able to ride. And we finally have that. Uh, and then complete the quest lines and unlock the new hero prickly patroller. Now, before you get, oh, Maddie, oh, man, calm down. This update's going to suck because it's probably an animal hero. No, it is a complete opposite of that. I was actually shocked reading this. I was like, maybe they're going to not, you know, uh, give something like that. But uh, uh, before we get into the actual hero, raptor riding, wrangling a raptor sounds fun. But what do you once you've captured one, jump on one for one heck of a ride as now you can ride raptors and save the world. Hold on, though, because while riding a raptor, you'll have the ability to perform extraordinary high jumps. Kind of in BR. I assume that they just program like that. Uh, and then new hero and weapons. Tip your caps and watch your fingers. Prickly Patroller Ramirez makes her debut and save the world. Complete the new Raptor Wrangler quest line, which is available tomorrow on August 9th at reset. And then... Uh you can earn her and the new primal shotgun along with the quest line. So I think it's pretty cool. And the quest lines are fairly simple. The first one is going to be don't bite the band that tames, which you have to show that you are a ultimate Raptor Wrangler by taming two Raptors. Easy. You can do that in one mission. And the next one is Raptor Rodeo. And you have to prove a, you're a real Raptor riding pro by traveling a thousand meters on a Raptor back. I just assume you could just run in a circle or something like that. And then the final one, the third one is eliminate 50 husks while riding any wildlife to prove your mounted combat skills. This one is super easy. Go in a low zone and get on an animal and just shoot a Xeon bow. And if you don't have a Xeon bow, then just shoot something. All right. Um, shouldn't be too hard. Uh, and then you get the primal shotgun, which actually is the highest shotgun based damage now in the fastest fire rate shotgun. Um, however, I do want to mention all these weapons are locked in nature at the current time. I don't know if they have any plans to change that, but Archer is kind of back and forth on knowing if they will change that. So I'm not going to quote him saying, you know, he says this, um, but we're kind of iffy on knowing if they're ever, uh, ever change that, but they are locked to L, uh, or they are locked to um, nature right now, which uh, is kind of fine because, you know, a winter storm is coming up or a m mini boss storm. So we'll have, you know, water storms every once in a while. So yeah, shouldn't be too bad, uh, but let's get into the actual hero because I actually do think this is a great hero and I think it might be interesting. So the standard perk is called prickly enemies that land melee attacks take 10 base damage. So if an enemy pretty much hits you, um, they take damage. So it's basically like you're a cactus. If they hit you, you they take damage. And then in lead, enemies that, uh, uh, in lead, it's 15 base damage and then an additional five base damage per three seconds. So I don't know if she'll be any good in lead. Um, it's kind of like a bigger jump, but I think uh, her in support, if you're using like a melee uh, damage build, would be perfect. Instead of running like coconuts or all those coconuts noobs out there, I... I, I'm not going to, I actually, you know, I'm not going to get into it. Um, but instead of coconuts, you can run prickly patroller and every time a husk hits you then they'll take damage, which might not seem like a lot, like 10, 10 base damage is, you know, it, it feels like a small number, but in reality, uh, I mean, it's kind of a big number once they get into like one sixes and whatnot, but, uh, we'll have to test it out when she comes out. There'll be a video on her, of course. And I think, uh, a, per a perfect loadout would be like Paley Luna. So expect that. Uh, otherwise, primal weapon set, there is four weapons in total. So we have the shotgun, pistol, SMG, and rifle. And uh, one, uh, there's going to be three uh, uh, for the final few weeks of the season. They're going to come out towards the uh, every week at reset. So I think it's every Wednesday. So starting tomorrow, we'll get one. And then um, the shotgun comes out in the quest line. So 
Yeah, and there's actually special six perks with these, which I don't know if they're going to be bugged whenever they are released. Let me know down in the comments if you find any bugs or anything like that. We'll report them. They usually try to fix the newer ones because it's easier to fix newer bugs because they know what they're doing with the newer stuff, uh, unlike the old stuff where they have to kind of like fix a lot more. Uh, anyways, the six perks, while a primal uh, weapon is held, wildlife, wildlife will not attack you unless provoked. I don't know if the six perk would be a really cool to have on a weapon. I don't think it's necessary. I just kill an animal like there's so low health anyways. Um, but there is a known issue for this. So if you attack an animal, all the animals of that type will attack you uh, throughout that entire mission. Um, but they're working on this. So the plan is to just only have that one enemy attack you. They, there's probably a bunch of other tags that they have to figure out and whatnot. Uh, and then the second one is the weapon will deal 30% bonus damage to targets above 85% health. I think this is kind of the opposite effect of black uh, blackout weapons uh, or black metal weapons um, where like you have lower health, the more damage you do. But like this one is like the more health they have, the, the you do more damage kind of scenario. So that's kind of interesting to see. Uh, and then we have eliminated Miss Monster used a primal weapon, activates Frenzy, which is a new thing, giving the player and their tamed pet 25% bonus movement move speed and attack speed for 12 seconds so attack speed is interesting i think that'd be really fun i wonder if it applies to melee weapons i think that would be super cool you know having paleo luna load out and like you know killing an enemy with a pistol would be pretty fun uh and then we have eliminating five enemies in four seconds you see using a primal weapon activates frenzy which is the same thing um um which it grants you uh 25 percent move, move speed and attack speed for five seconds uh, rather than the uh, 12 seconds up here. So I don't know. It's going to be very interesting to see which ones will be the best. And I'll go through, make videos on individual weapons, and then we'll do a video on the hero itself. So it'll be five total videos in the future once they come out. So expect those along with the other content that I have coming out. So like tomorrow, we should have these surround pound. The, today's video was going to be surround pound, but this update's pretty big. So I don't want to double post on something like huge like this. So expect to expect a surround pound tomorrow along with a... Uh, video following up with the new hero along with probably a new shotgun video a few days after that so yeah uh time schedules are really fun uh, otherwise that's pretty much it for the save the world update the only other thing that we have to talk about is cloak star and quinn so we'll be getting um uh whatchamacallit we'll be getting thunder thor uh tomorrow at reset when if they hit the road and then we also get redline ramirez on august 16th which is the week following tomorrow and she's actually really good her standard uh perk is uh, increases sniper damage by 17 percent. she's really great in support um in lead she's not too bad but i mean she does increase your fire rate so if you're using a, a low fire or lower fire rate weapon she's kind of good i think i ran her with the crescendo because i wanted to see if it worked and you know it wasn't as great as i thought it would have been but go check that video out uh otherwise uh yeah we also get sledgehammer the week after that which is the final week before the end of the season so we have exactly 29 days or 30 days i think until the end of the season ends on the september 7th or 8th something like that so um look out for that uh otherwise yeah that's pretty much it we also have uh the um uh whatchamacallit <laughs> sorry we have the surround pound coming out tomorrow too uh, at august 9th so yeah, uh, there'll be a video on that. Like I said, that'll be out tomorrow. So if you guys are curious about that, we'll be covering that. Otherwise, the, uh, there is two bug fixes, finally. Uh, <laughs> two out of the million that we have. I, I'll take it, though. Uh, they fixed an issue with the Storm Shield console that prevented players from seeing the, the user interface and menu on PC and console. This actually was kind of an annoying bug. This has been a bug for a while, and they fixed it. I mean, it's something to note that, you know, like, I've had the bug. I mean, like, most people have had it. So I think it's kind of uh, nice that they fixed it. And then they actually fixed an issue with the back button. Escape buttons would not function properly in some menus like batch recycling. So uh, this was actually back whenever they released Horde Rush. Um uh i like noticed it i think i was like one of the very first people to like say something i was like wait why can't i exit out of my menu uh you can actually probably go back in one of the horde rush videos i think it was like i caught i i recorded it or something but it was wild i kept trying to click escape and i just couldn't get out of the menu and i was like how do i do it you have to like change menus and then escape it was a whole thing but uh yeah they fixed that finally thank you epic i really do appreciate that one because that one uh kind of frustrating if you're trying to craft a weapon and like you get stuck in the menu whenever it hit it enemies hitting you yeah it's not fun uh, otherwise, yeah, that's everything in the update. I'm actually super excited to get uh, into the update, get get ready, the, get all the hero or get the hero and all the weapons and even do the challenges in BR. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, I, if this is a W update or, you know, if you, you know, one of those people that don't like anything that we can save the world. Um, otherwise, you guys have an amazing morning wherever you are at night, afternoon. Yeah, wherever you are. Otherwise, uh, thank you for watching. You guys have, yeah, well, I already said that, but yeah, you guys have an amazing night and I will uh, see you guys in the next one.